Hello there, welcome to Soundland channel. Starting from today, it's a new series with new videos, mixing, mixing in depth. We try to do it in depth depending on the time that we have here in the studio. And apropos studio, we are in the Soundland uh, studio here and our sponsor CMC web and audio production company is here uh, helping us with the whole materials and uh, everything that we need. For today, the first episode, it starts with a metal song. It's a metal song with some symphonic element, symphonic elements. Um, maybe some of uh, you there, um, you are tempted to say it's a symphonic metal, but if you ask me, it's just a metal song with some symphonic elements, some symphonic instruments. We're going to use native instruments for the uh, symphonic. You're going to see how we're going to put this uh, instrument in the um, image, uh, sound image, and also in composition. Um, how we used the Superior Drummer 3, the software for the drum, which is one of the best uh, in, in this moment. Um, and I've chose this first song. Uh, the title is 101 or 101, as you wish. I've chose this song because it have um, two parts uh, with two different drums. It's a normal metal part in the beginning and uh, in the end of the song. And between these two, like a bridge, let's say, exists a slow part with a completely other characteristic of the drum, uh, maybe like a blues, let's say, uh, with a solo ending with a solo. Uh, and that's why here there are two instances of Superior Drummer 3. In the first, the, the metal one, we used the whole process. We're gonna, we've done the whole uh, uh, process in the software, in uh, Superior Drummer 3, with the processor that exists in this software. In the second part, in the slow part, we've treated the drum, even if it's the same software, we've treated the drum like a um, normal acoustic drum in the studio. Uh, separated channels, uh, each channel um, processed separate in the door, in the Cubase that we used. Um, and uh, for sure, uh, drum bus using a drum bus, uh, parallel compression channel, uh, reverb channel, like, as I've told you, like a normal drum uh, in the studio. Let's listen a little bit, a few uh, fragments from this uh, song. Let's start with the beginning. And after that, I'm going to explain uh, in this episode what's happened with the metal drum. Okay, this is the intro and it's part of the beginning. It continues somewhere in the song like this. And then the second part that I've told you about, this slow part. Yeah, and the finish, uh, it finished, this part it finished with a, a solo, as I've told you, and goes back in the metal style. Yeah, this is generally speaking the song 101 it's produced it is it's a song produced here 
by us in the studio. Uh, it's part of uh, EP that comes in this springtime out on the market. I'm gonna let you know about if you uh, you need to subscribe and also to push the button for a notification and you're gonna have new information about this EP that comes in uh, springtime. Um, it's gonna have also a uh, vocal. So it's an album, it's an EP, uh, a metal EP with a little bit symphonic in and also a vocal. But as I've told you, more details about the album somewhere in springtime. Now let's turn back to our uh, discussion. <clears throat> and as I've told you here, we have the Superior Drama 3, the first instance for um, the metal drum. It looks like this. And it sounds like this. Okay, let's see very fast what we have here. So, Superior Drummer, the software, it's already loaded. We've start here, uh, the preset that we've used here. It's a Mark Lewis metal Ludmeyer. So for the people who have this patch, it's about Mark Lewis metal Ludmeyer. This is the, the preset that we uh, start uh, with. Very good. You can use it for the people who don't want to uh, go in deep or uh, waste time. I don't know how to say it to process the whole drum. Uh, they can use this preset like it is. It's a very good one, a very good for, for metal. But for our needs in this song, yeah, for sure, we've changed some uh, things. And let's start very fast. Uh, the bass drum, the bass drum here, it's um, uh, composed by kick in, kick out and uh, sub. Yeah, somehow standard. And uh, all this goes in a kick, have, do you see it? No. I'm gonna show you. So all this goes in this bus here. It's a kick bus. Yeah. All together in this uh, channel bus. Kick in. It's an EQ. Very drastically here a notch in around 350 hertz, and also a little bit. Um, scoop let's say in 4000 5000 um, the um, top the top of the kick it was a little bit too much in this mix uh, goes too much through through the mix that's why we need to put down you see here there are minus 6 uh, decibel okay this is the uh, first microphone the kick in the kick out here it's uh, another story the kick out look what's happened here we have uh, 5,000 down again, then uh, 1,200 down, this notch in um, uh, 350. Uh, yeah, the kick out sound, it was a little bit for us, for our needs in, in the song. I need to, to say this, uh, and sorry, we need to, to uh, make this clear. In mixing and composing, in music, generally speaking, there are no boundaries. There are rules, for sure there are rules, there are basics that you need to know to understand what comes uh, further in your mixing and your process processes, but you can do what do you want with your imagination and also the most important instrument, the ears, yeah? The ears, the, which are uh, the most important in everything that, in every decision that you're gonna take in a mix, yeah? So that's why for us, this kick out comes for sure the police of mi mixing saying, oh, you cannot do this, there are too much, you need to uh, stay in maximum uh, three decibel uh, plus or minus in a, into a, a Q or a thing like this. I don't care. If you don't like what we are doing here, you are free to change the channel. But <clears throat> if it sound, it sound. And this is the most important. This is our task to make the uh, instrument to sound in the mix. That's why our kick out, it was so drastically uh, scooped, <clears throat> because in my opinion, it was here uh, sounding like a uh, kick wood, 
Yeah, like uh, I don't know, maybe uh, this uh, kind of uh, Cubanese instruments of wood. Yeah, that's right. The sub, it's a sub, and have here, as you see, we have here a cut. <coughs> Yeah, it's a low cut here in um, how much? Thirteen thousand? Uh, no, sorry, one thousand three hundred. Oh, uh, here we are in one thousand three hundred. Why one thousand three hundred? I cannot say to you. It was a fixed frequencies frequency. It was just a matter of dragging the um, controller till we felt that is correct there and we don't have uh, other influences uh, of the sub in uh, the whole drum it's just an explanation for you for you to understand why this kind of frequency you see here 1315.5 yeah okay it was a decision in the moment for this uh, mix uh, then the same scoop here uh, 350 yeah also in uh, this um, sub but the drum have other elements, the bass drum have other elements, and let's talk a little bit about, you're gonna see here, yeah, the bass drum, this is a set from Ludmeyer, uh, here the bass drum have uh, the initial uh, instrument, the bass drum, and then two adds, these adds there, it's a huge list here of adds. This adds comes most of the time to complete the sound of the instrument, of the element of the drum. Yeah, with for maybe you need more splash or maybe you need more uh, body or bottom. I don't know. Uh, there are elements that you can put over layers that can be put it over the main instrument to obtain this uh, kind of uh, effects that you need in in the mix. That's why here uh, we used. Um, Let's try to, yeah, it's an electronic Eurodot Kick 12 for the first one, and the second one it's a um, Nocturnal Phoenix Kick articulation, it's a uh, hit articulation, yeah. Okay, this is from the list of ads here. These two in the mixer, you can find it here, there are here, it's a kick sample, yeah, and the kick trance, these are the name for them in this uh, mixer. This comes to complete this three channels from the beginning. Yeah, this three channels, as I've told you, goes in this kick bus, all three, and then this kick bus plus the kick sample and the kick trans goes together, all together in kick bus. It's Sound a little bit complicated, but it's not. We have three channels going in the bus, and then this bus plus two another channels goes in another bus, all just for the uh, drum, for the bus drum. If you, and something it's not uh, clear and you don't understand, have a question, please let the question in the comment, uh, comment uh, field and I try to answer um as much as i can so what's happened with this uh, kick sample let's see here it's a, a q the same here we have a notch in uh, 200 hertz and we've cut here uh under 60 hertz yeah for the first uh sample yeah kick sample and kick trans have an eq that is drastically cut it here under uh, 1700, 1800, yeah, and a little bit here over uh, 14,000. This is just to complete the uh, top of the kick in the bus drum. Okay, further, snare. Snare, we have it here. For sure, the you see here the volumes are, are different, have different values. I don't stay to tell you every value for every... Uh, volume cause for sure in your mix gonna have different values than this one here uh, and also you can copy from my uh, display but as I've told you for sure they are not the same in your mix top snare top have an EQ here a little bit up 
uh, for air, for brightness, yeah, uh, 10,000, then the presence, splash here, 3,000, a little bit up, and the notch in uh, 400, 368, it's here, because the snare have a um, ring, and let's listen a little bit to the snare. Yeah, I think you or, or you've already heard the ring. It's a ring um, frequency there that we've notched a little bit, not complete. And pay attention. Um, it's just to take out this ring to be obvious, but we've let it a little to be there in the mix, not so obvious, but in the mix. It brings some extra um, harmonics. This ring brings harmonics, and harmonics makes an instrument bigger, or uh, to cut through the mix sometimes. That's why you need to pay attention. With these uh, cuttings and um, scooping, you saw we've done in, in the bass drum some drastic things, but most of the time it's better to, to, to let this, this kind of things, if they help the, the mix. It's the same thing like with the licks from uh, instruments or from elements of the drum in other microphones. Uh, the, this software, this incredible software, the Superior Drummer uh, 3, let you choose the licks from an instrument to a microphone. That uh, there are people who, who choose for the, uh, who are choosing for, for metal generally to cut all these licks. Okay, could sound very good, it's not a problem. I prefer to let a little bit the licks, not like in a normal drum, like in an acoustic drum, but I let them somehow to be there uh, to help obtaining this uh, sound like a natural drum as much as we can, to go in this direction, to make the drum sounding as much as natural it's our decision. I don't know. I'm going to show you this, what's happened, especially in uh, overheads. There it's very, very, very interesting, because most of you are struggling with uh, overheads, uh, uh, leaking problem from hi-hat or, I don't know, thing like this. Buzz, buzz drum, most of the time, with, with this uh, high top um, that uh, sometimes is not so good for the buzz drum, and I know this. That's why I'm going to show you how we have this in the uh, overheads. So, this was the top snare. Let's turn back to our uh, discussion. Uh, snare bottom have no um, uh, process. But, for sure we have here, like to the bass drum, some additional yeah, elements. And, for example, here we have a 14 inch uh, Ludwig Coliseum, but it's 8 or 14, there's, there's 9 snare, an electronic one, huh? it's an electronic as there's 9, or a Tama, Artwood Maple, 8, 14 inch, Ludwig Coliseum again, for the rim shot, uh, yeah, all this comes out from, as I've told you, ads, or you can put effectively from the list of the snares another snare over the snare. There are layers, yeah? Okay, and every layer have his own um, part here, his own uh, or its own um, dashboard. Uh, yeah, with settings and everything. Okay, that's why here, turning back in the mixer, we have again snare top interesting snare button and then all these layers which are snare sample x snare top one x snare top two then the x snare button so the bottom of the snare have also a layer and x snare button one two extra layers for the bottom all of this all these elements that compose the the snare goes all together in snare bus. 
let's see very very fast uh, what process we have for, for the uh, layers for this layers so it's very simple the first here it's a transient shaper just sustain 8.4 decibel up and uh, an EQ <clears throat> um, presence and um, air up a few let's say five decibel and down under thousand hertz everything down L the same four or five decibel yeah this is the snare sample x snare top have an eq with a notch here 380 400 where the resonant uh this annoying resonant is yeah but also for the for this layer x snare top one we need to uh, ma uh, make this notch and here a little bit bump 177 for the bottom of the snare yeah we felt here that we need a little bit bottom in the snare that's why uh, you see here 177 let's say 180 hertz uh, a little bit up uh, three to four decibel yeah then <coughs> x snare top two here again uh, air 10,000 um, presence 3 so uh, yeah 3,000 and a notch in 400 368 yeah for the ring let's see with the bottom what's happened very low this one the first layer you see minus 25 decibel so what we have here splash <coughs> 300 uh, 3,000 a little bit notch in 661 maybe it have here I, I cannot remember but it was maybe here um, uh, also a ring in this uh, uh, sampler sample uh, here 251 a uh, big uh, bump up um, for bottom of the snare and the bottom one so x snare bottom one the last uh, have no um, as you see have no process it's like it is yeah all these guys the same like the kick goes in their own snare uh bus okay we're going to discuss about the buses after uh we finish with the, the elements let's go further hi-hat hi-hat it's quite easy we have here a um, little bit air uh, 11,000, 1.5 decibel up, and the cut in 360, everything that is under 360 goes out, yeah? We have nothing here. This was the hi-hat. Then, the tombs. And here with the tombs, it's a discussion. Because the first one, yeah, have a... Um, uh, no, the transient shaper here doesn't exist. It remains... Sorry. So, out. Yeah? What we have here? We have a... EQ again I need to use this word it's drastically uh acute yeah here 7000 up then here 500 600 down again here we have a 274 that is uh 300 a little bit down and then a cut under uh everything under 63 hertz why because it was like this in the mix the um, um, this tomb have too much energy here in the middle and uh, a lack of uh, top yeah that's why it looks like this what can i say i don't have a magic formula it's just a matter of listening and uh, take take decision yeah so here uh, comes a compressor a classic one Threshold minus 20, 1.5 to 1 ratio, attack 10 milliseconds, letting the um, uh, transient to go through. Uh, 400 milliseconds release, very good. Uh, make a little bit uh, longer resonance for the tomb. Uh, then the mix of this uh, processor in 100%. Further, rack tomb uh, 2. Here up 7000, 8000, down notch 670, 700, and also uh, 300, down. Yeah, we use here somehow just the bottom and the top of the tube in 
this uh, um, song. Then comes here the same, a classic uh, compressor, minus 20, 1.5 to 1 ratio, 10 milliseconds, 400 milliseconds release, and like this. Next one, and here comes the discussion. For sure comes again uh, mixing police, musical police, and said, oh, why uh, you copy all this and you made the same, uh, there are different instruments, they have different resonance, they need different EQs. Yeah, it's like this. They are different elements, they are different resonance, there, there are different frequencies. You are right. And they was treated separate. I need to mention this for the people who are gonna come and said, yeah, you need to uh, treat every element separate. Yeah, yeah, I've done this. And I've decided to apply the same EQ because it was like this. It sound like this. And if it sound, doesn't matter. Yeah? Good. This is the first lesson that we need to remember. If it sound, doesn't matter the method that you applied. Yeah? Good. So here, the same EQ, the same compressor. Same EQ, same compressor. This is Rocktum 3, Rocktum, uh, Floor Tomb, the first one. Same EQ, yeah, the Floor Tomb have the same EQ, yeah? And the same compressor. That's it. Look what's happened here, the Floor Tomb. And here I have the proof that I treat every of them separate, yeah? <clears throat> Look, here we have, again, the 8000 up. We For the top, we need it. Then... 670, 700 down again, like the other ones. Again, the 274, the 300 hertz down, and a cut. Here it's a cut under 57, 60, let's say, because it was too much low resonant in, in this instrument. It's cut it. And look what's happened with the with, um, compressor. Yeah? The compressor. The compressor is minus 28 in this case, the threshold. It's a ratio of 185 to 1. The same uh, 10 milliseconds attack for the transient, but not so much release. So the release not so slow. It's faster release, 91.6 milliseconds. Because the instrument, it is resonant. It's a big uh, membrane. It's a big diaphragma for this uh, uh, floor tomb, the second one, yeah? And then here we have uh, 80%, just. Look here, the mix, 18%, not more. Because it's enough for this uh, uh, tomb. It's completely uh, sound by itself somehow, yeah? And all this, guys, goes for sure in a tomb uh, bus here to the end. Like the other ones. Okay, perfect. Further, what we have here, the overheads, the overheads have just a cut here in uh, 138 hertz, 150, um, let's say, yeah, and a little bit bump in the same place. Uh, we've let this bump for the um, snare. The snare, it's very important there because it's... Uh, licking it let the lick of the snare in the overheads we need it we don't want to use just the the snare in front of us yeah we need this to spread a little bit the image of the snare in in the whole uh, mix uh, and the bottom yeah it was important here uh, how it was uh, sounding to spread a little bit in in the overheads for the mix here yeah looks weird there was just little notches because of some weird uh, resonant of the snare in in the in the overheads, and that's it here. Yeah, nothing more. I was tempted to apply a little bit compressor here that I usually do, but yeah, in this case it sound like it is. Is no problem. Then comes a ribbon. It's a microphone, a mono one, ambient. Uh, a ribbon, one ribbon uh, have here, the ribbon have here a top in 11,000, 
a scoop in 700, a notch in 283, it was a resonant that uh, was too much. And here it's a cut looking like a shelf because of the slope. It's just uh, six, uh, six dec decibel per octave. Uh, that's why it looks like a shelf, but it's a cut uh, under 63 yeah for this uh, ribbon mic okay uh then comes a front high you know what is this it's a stereo front high yeah <laughs> um, for uh the whole image of the drum brightness here a little bit there yeah uh, 8500 scoop here 500 let's say yeah it was maybe too much uh boominess in this one these two mics, I mean the front height and the ribbon, both of them have their own uh, bus here. And it's about the ambience, yeah? Ambience bus, you see it there. It's the bus for ribbon ambient and uh, front height. Good. So, these are the mics that we have. Let's see what's happened now here in the section of uh, yeah of the buses oh the kick kick have an EQ which is just a cut here under 50 Hertz yeah cut under and yeah a little bit scoop here in 14,000 it was a decision in the moment because we struggle somehow with this uh, bus drum in this mix it was a little bit everything too top uh, the top too much and yeah it was a decision in the moment then comes a, a classic compressor here with a minus 27 threshold 4 to 1 ratio uh, 20 milliseconds attack so a lot of transient there uh, not so big release uh, it's a fast release 96 milliseconds because we need a short drum yeah we need a short bus drum the short elements for the bus drum and snare in metal generally speaking yeah we don't need a long one that's why we uh, try to maintain as short as possible uh, and the mix of 49 let's say 50 percent that means this compressor it works like a parallel compressor so it lets 50 percent let the original sound from the drum to come out and apply 50 percent this uh, compressor it's a parallel compressor for the bus drum here in the uh, uh, kick bus yeah <clears throat> then a transient shaper attack minus three to uh, yeah uh, tamp a little bit the attack and also sustain because i've told you we don't need too much sustain in the bus drum this is the kick and let's listen uh this kick how it sounds yeah yeah what it was here <coughs> because it's like this when you select the uh, solo here, it's going to be soloed also the the other uh, bus, the kick bus. So what you've heard, it's the bus drum with three mics plus the <coughs> these um, samplers that we discussed about. That's why, let's see what it was here. Yeah, you saw the, the what um, process we have in the kick bus and it was completed with a process, just an EQ for the general kick bus. I, I try to show you here, yeah, the kick, it's here. This is the bus for the three mic, in, out, and sub. And all together, plus the samples goes here in the kick bus, which have this EQ. And this EQ, very easy here, cut under 40 hertz and a scoop in 300, 250. It was too much energy here in uh, 250. That's why I've decided to cut here, to cut, to put it down, scoop it a little, yeah? If minus 10 decibel could be named a little. But this was my decision and I can live with. So, snare, <coughs> bus, snare bus have the EQ here, 
again, you see, brightness, the top of the snare, then comes here, uh, the top of the snare, we uh, increase in uh, 10,000, yeah? 10 kilo. Then here, uh, splash, <coughs> the presence, 3,000. Then a bump here, 3 decibel in 150, 170, yeah, 174 is here, the bottom of the snare, and the cut. The cut, everything under 114 hertz, uh, it's throw away. <laughs> okay, this is the, the EQ for uh, the snare bus. Then comes the compressor, minus 70 threshold, 4 to 1 ratio, 15 milliseconds attack, a lot of uh, transient goes through, uh, not so long uh, release, yeah, 96 milliseconds, and complete, so it's not a parallel compressor, it's a normal compressor here, 100% mix. Comes then, <coughs> here a punch, this is also a processor from the software, from the Superior Drummer 3, punch excited 361, uh, compression in uh, uh, half and mixed just 17% so it's not too much just a little touch you know if you ask me it's like more like uh, to bring a little bit splash in the top yeah to tamp a little bit the, the top not too much again the transient shaper here attack 4.5 needed, it's a snare, sustain not too much, 0 0.4 decibel, it's somehow nothing, yeah, for the sustain. Okay, <clears throat> to the end, another EQ, here a notch for this ring frequency, it was up because of this um, uh, compressor, yeah, this frequency comes up, out or up, as you wish, and that's why we've put it again down here in 400 hertz. A little bit touch the uh, top, 7000. Yeah, again. And that's it. Here we have two sends. One to a compressor, which is completely in zero decibel, and the reverb in min minus uh, 13 uh, decibel. Uh, these are sends. Sends to compressor, his separate complete com compressor channel, and the reverb also. Yeah? And these are sent to these channels, to the compressor, respective to um, reverb. So, we're going to discuss about these two channels in the end. This was the snare. Tooms, very easy. An EQ here, just in the middle, in the top, sorry, uh, we have around 9,000, 2 decibel up, and that's it, yeah, for the, for the EQ. Nothing else, yeah? The top then another eq <coughs> that bring us a scoop here this is for the entire uh tombs um bus yeah 224 250 down here seven decibel uh, again here 139 we've put it down five decibel let's say and the cut under uh, 50 hertz a cut yeah these are the don't uh, forget, these are the tombs. And also a uh, punch exciter. Here, the same 50%, 18% mixed. Yeah? This is the punch exciter. Just a little bit too, as I've told you, for the top. Then, the symbols <coughs> means uh, the overheads and things have here also a Q. It looks very easy, very simple over 1,500, <coughs> 4 to 5 decibel up, everything in presence and air, and down with a scoop here in 420, yeah? Everything under, hand, how much it was here, uh, 1,500 down, 4 to 5 decibel, but with a scoop here more in uh, 420, it was a resonant there in the symbols. Ambience, this ribbon, if you remember, ribbon and front height, yeah? These are the ambience, and here it's a compressor, just a compressor, nothing else, no EQ, nothing. There was treated separate in their own channel. Here it's just this compressor with uh, minus 23, uh, threshold 3 to 1 ratio, 189 milliseconds attack, so a 
very, very, very slow attack. Let a lot of transient goes there. Also release. Uh, it's somehow slow for uh, 500 milliseconds to make them, make this mic, uh, mics, the ambience mics a little bit paced or how can I explain, yeah? To, to be a little bit compressed and paced, like a paste, yeah? And mixed 100%. <clears throat> this was the ambience and the kick bus we've discussed. Remains the compressor. What's happened here with the compressor? And the compressor channel have um, emulation of fat compressor here, minus 22.9 decibel uh, input gain with a not so fast attack, uh, a fast release or fast to slow, no, fast release, let's say, and um, mix of 100%. Important here, we have the ratio 8 to 1, which is, let's say, a moderate. Yeah, 8 to 1. Uh, this is the compressor, and it's also processed here, the compressor channel, with a EQ, a big notch, in 244 hertz, and the cut under 80 hertz. Because this compressor channel is used just for the snare. The snare, it's send it there, in this compressor, and it's, uh, this compressor channel is used like a parallel compressor for the snare. Yeah, you see the snare, it's in uh, minus 3.5 decibel volume. Yeah, and the compressor is minus 17.7. But it's there. It's a parallel compressor for the snare channel. And it's sound. Now we can listen the complete snare. Let's see the snare complete how it sound. So we have the bus for the snare and the compressor selected. And very interesting, if you already heard it, We've let the bass drum to leak in the microphone of uh, the microphones of the snare. We've let this happen. It's very, very, very important for the top of the bass drum. It completes the top of the bass drum and gives another color, another feeling. In our mix, I don't know, you need to take your own decision in your mixes. What's happened there? Here it's a reverb, the reverb channel which is also sent here in compressor, uh, in um, uh, snare channel, and also tomb channel have a send, as you see, minus 4.8 decibel. The snare have less, minus 13 decibel, send it to the reverb. For sure the, um, how it names, the uh, tombs have more, yeah? 4.8, minus 4.8. And all the, uh, these two channels goes here in this reverb, that is a plate reverb taken from the presets of the um software the our drum software this superior drama 3 it's a plate reverb with a reverb time of two seconds a pre delay of 16.6 .6 milliseconds and everything there uh, after the size shape diffusion in 50 percent color one it's completely wet yeah mixed complete 100 percent this is also conditioned by a EQ, a EQ that have a cut here in 114. Yeah, it's a reverb with a cut under everything under uh, 114 hertz. Yeah, to avoid the rumble and things like this that could be annoying or uh, <coughs> make busy the bottom of the mix. Okay, with reverb, let's listen again. The snare, snare compressor, where the compressor here and the reverb. It's like this. Okay. This is complete the drum. We have here, as you can see, it's the last channel. It's an out in one and two, channel one and two. 
uh, it's the main out of this drum and it's corrected here correct it it's it's used here just a little bit compressor threshold minus 20 2 to 1 ratio 50 milliseconds attack release 152 so not so big if it's just uh, i can say it's like a limiter a, a little bit like a limiter it's mixed completely 100% it's just to tame a little bit all this uh, um, frequency that comes out in top or you know it's like a small limiter and this is the drum this is our drum it sound alone like this complete And here with the uh, tombs. Yeah, that tombs that have the same um, EQ curve. So, that's it for today. This was the drum. This was the, the metal drum for, for this song. Next episode comes the other drum, the slow part, where the drum is a little bit longer. Yeah, the, the elements of the drum sound resonant. It, it's a little bit longer to close the gap between the beats, thing like this, you know, how it works for a um, um, slow part. Thank you again to CMC Web and Audio Production to be our sponsor. Without CMC, uh, nothing here can happen. Um, we're gonna continue in the next episode, uh, as I've told you, with uh, the drum, but not just. In the other ones comes uh, bass, guitars, and all the elements from for the symphonic. Um, please subscribe. It's important. Please subscribe. Ev everybody here on YouTube have this uh, um, problem with a subscription. You know, it's important for for a channel, and uh, also you can push the notification button because um, gives you information about new videos that comes out from our channel. Till then, take care and make mixing sound better. <laughs>